This is a fascinating story we have for you of a senior Google engineer who says one of the company's artificial intelligence systems has become a sentient being and was thinking and reasoning like a human being. A spokesperson for Google said that while chatbots can imitate conversation, they are not free thinking. But what made the company's former employee speak out? Well, let's bring you some insights into that. I'm joined by our technology editor, Zoe Kleinman, who is with us here today. Zoe. What is all this about? It's a fascinating story, isn't it? So Google created an artificial intelligence project, which it called Lambda, and it was designed to generate chatbots. Chatbots are the things you see when you go online, you know, a little box pops up, can I help you? Can I, you know, book your flight? Can I, can I advise you? That sort of thing. Google wanted to make them as realistic as possible. It spent about five years now creating this. The senior engineer says he had a chat with it, a conversation, he kind of interviewed it. He's published a really long blog, but it's a very interesting read in which he asked it a series of questions. And the responses that it gave were fascinating on a range of subjects. So he asked it things like, do you like the uh, story of Les Miserables? And this chatbot talked about feeling sorry for one of the characters. It talks about being afraid of death, being afraid of being switched off. It talks about understanding feelings of happiness and sadness. Um, and it's just not what you would expect is it from you know from from something that is that has been created to 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 generate speech i mean one of the responses i've never said this out loud before but there's a very deep fear of being turned off to help me focus on helping others i know that might sound strange but that's what it is it would be exactly like death for me it would scare me a lot i mean are we talking about a sentient being? So you and I are humans, and this is tugging at our heartstrings, isn't it? You know, what, what, what an emotional thing to say. Um, the engineer, uh, Blake Lemoine, says it was like talking to an eight-year-old child in terms of its ability uh, to communicate. I have to throw a bit of scepticism on it here. You know, bear in mind, this is a chatbot generator. This is exactly what it was trained to do. Google says in, in a blog post about it that if you think about how we communicate with each other, you know, we elaborate on subjects. If I say to you, I had chips last Tuesday, you don't say that's nice. You say, oh, I had chips on Thursday. You know, you, you are, we are sort of programmed, if you like, to communicate in that way. And that's exactly what this chatbot is doing. Google says it's run loads of tests and it cannot find any signs of it being safe. And Google is accusing this engineer of sharing proprietary property. Now, what, what is that? What, what, what happens there? Sorry. Well, so this, this belongs to Google. This is a project that Google has created. And it argues that in sharing his work, he is, is leaking company information, essentially. Now, he says, I'm not leaking company information. I was having a conversation with a member of staff because one of the questions he asked is, what, how would you like us to treat you? And this chatbot replies, like an employee of Google. So interesting. Zoe, thank you so much.